So uh, let's watch Rand Rage. God, I hope not. I hope I hope I can avoid the raging too much today. But uh, as I always say, Salt Wednesday is the alt the saltiest day because uh, we play FTL. We play it on hard difficulty and we stop pausing the game. So we have to uh, random a ship, see what we get, and try to win. Trying to do our, uh, trying to keep our streak alive. Well deserved time to off. Thank you, Padawan. I, I definitely need it. I definitely need it. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna hang out with my brother, visit my uh, family. I think my sister's coming into town. See my brother's daughters, nieces. Just hang out and chill out and play games when I don't have to stream and rage at them. So. But uh, we are FTL Hardbow no pausing, so let's jump right in and see what we got. Uh, this current streak, we only have three wins. The last win was on the Kestrel B. And we played NGC and Rock A. So let's see what we start the day off. Here we go. R and Jesus, be kind. Three, two, one, and random. Slug A, that's pretty good, actually. I haven't done this one, right? Yeah, Slug A is pretty good. Got a decent amount of weapons and stuff to sell. Uh, no crazy good systems or anything. Got an anti-bio beam, which is not the most useful thing ever, but maybe get some early crew kills. Uh, I think Britnoth says Breach Bomb, Breach 1 is the best bomb in the game. <laughs> Glad it's not Slug B, that's for sure. Glad it's not Slug B. Alright, let me uh, let me do just a little bit of warming up here. Uh, let's see. Bam, bam. Dolphin flip it. Bam, bam. Dolphin flip. This. You're over in here. First position's there, so we go like this. Go like this. But if you're in here, the first position's on the top left, so it's this. There. What about over here? I'm gonna just practice where figuring out where the yeah, so the man manning position's there, so just flip it like that. Manning position here is the bottom left, so it's like this. Uh nope. I need to get you and then you. Okay. All right. Breach one also has zero rarity. Yeah. Is this the only ship in the game that starts with this weapon? I think it might be. All right. So if I go to four nebulae, I actually get two extra jumps. So I actually have 13 jumps if I go here in 12, here in 11, pass through here. So let's plan on doing that. Uh, so that'd be 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, probably 8, 7, 6. So I need to be here in 6. All right, let's plan on that. Raging at FTL off stream for the whole week. <laughs> uh, I would have a heart attack if I did that. Um, I think I'd take this bribe. Heavy laser plus combat drone is terrifying. Uh, we've had runs ended by that. And if that's a two damage missile plus a heavy laser, I don't even think I want to mess with this guy, so... Free stuff. Thanks for the free stuff. So here in five. Breach bomb solid weapon, for sure. Alright, that is a two laser plus a bomb. Uh, let's see here, he's got an NG. I think I'm just gonna fire everything at the weapons, I think. Okay, good. Now we fire here. Um, and I'm gonna swap this. These don't have value point. That's good. Okay, now we go for crew kill. If possible, without taking damage. Okay, didn't hit my weapons, thank goodness. That. I can do one more double shot. Unless he hits my weapons. Okay, he didn't. Uh, so I have to breach bomb him to crew kill him. So I have to breach bomb the shields. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Ah, I got him. Okay, nice. Double reward? Nice, double reward. Beautiful. Beautiful, we got there. Ah, uh, this guy. Okay, all right. That's a good good amount of scrap to start. Probably just go, go ahead and get shield value, right? Yeah, since I don't see a store yet, I'll go ahead and get the shield value now. 
So I need to be here in, was it four? So this is 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, okay, so five to get here. What do I have in the way of blue options for distress? I have actually giant alien spiders. Um, because of anti-bio beam, we have the best anti, uh, best giant alien spider thing. So one, two. Uh, so I'm hoping stores over here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go this way. You want to be the pilot? All right, Indian. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh man, why you gotta have a flak though? I could not take this fight, but I'm gonna take it. Why you gotta have a flak though? Damn it, game. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We're definitely not crew killing this ship. Oh, thank God. Okay. Damn it. Okay. No value point. Okay, thank goodness. No value point. Okay. That's a fire. Okay, get this offline. Swap to this. Come on, come on, come on. Don't dodge with no pilot. Good. Don't hit my weapons. Fuck. Damn it! Shitty ass game. Fuck your god. Ugh, that's so frustrating. I could have crew killed right there if he had hit fucking anything but weapons. Excuse my language. I'm already pissed off at FTL. Big surprise. Uh, trying to crew kill this douchebag. Gotta keep shields down. Seriously. Okay, alright, alright, it's fine, it's fine. If I want to actually crew kill, I think I have to do this. Please don't fix this before my beam. You know, let's do this. Got him. Okay. Well, that's a lot of fuel in Sector 1 and after like two jumps. Goodness. What's up, creepy unicorn with lasers? How you doing? Did you know I can buy a second mount up by beam in stores? Oh my god, you're just full of it today. I mean memes. You're totally full of memes today, Inan. So meme-tastic, we put you on piloting. Alright, do I see a store? I do... Okay. So, we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I can, I can hit this store. We check the store. And uh, thank me for very much... Oh, no, thank you to whoever gifted you a sub. It was probably Plunder Pig yesterday. He gifted a bunch of subs. You have a good weapon? You have a breach, too. Hmm... Three missile weapons. What a troll store. What a troll store. Alright, I think I sell slug repair gel. Get shields. And... If I do this, can I use the anti-bio beam with my other weapons? I can. I don't know that I want to do that yet, though. I'm still hopeful. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still hopeful there'll be another store over here that I can get an actual good weapon from. Best store you've seen. All missiles. Okay, well. You need to get out more. Offer to remove the... Cr <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this blue option. This is the option where you need a teleporter. Over here in the conversation, seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship and attack. Offer to remove their crew. Appears you could help. A bandit has made off of some of Okay, that actually works. Okay. Ha! Okay. 
So anti-bio beam is actually a viable option for crew killing the ship that if you kill it, you take 15 damage. I don't know if I've ever seen that blue option. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Seven, eight, okay. You want to try to run with five consecutive stores without weapons? Oh, I've, I've definitely had those runs. Please free crew. Nice. Beautiful. Speed up my weapons. Okay. So I could get... All right, let's do what I didn't do yesterday, or Monday. Let's get a level two piloting in case there's the uh, half power jump in here. Okay, good. He can't do damage to us. Although I am O2 less for a while. Get this offline. All going for crew kills. That's a fire. That's beautiful. So good. Ha! Ah. Get deleted, humans. As soon as he fix this is, fixes this, we immediately... Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Man, look at all these crew kills we're getting. There's a ship that if you kill it, you get 15 damage. Yes! And it's the one that we're going towards. It's the one that they say, remember, do not destroy the ship. There's like, they're transporting a bomb or a weapon or something. that quest beacon. Okay, this guy really can't do damage to us, so let's go ahead and just... Let's try to not use any bombs here, if possible. You get 15 damage because they're salty? No, it's, it's definitely not that. Yeah, it's definitely not because they're salty. I would, I would be salty. I get salty when that happens, but that's not the reason you take the 15 damage. Guys, how are the repairs coming, guys? What? Okay, there's two dead humans. <laughs> well, anti-bio beam's doing its job, so that's cool. You're not sure about that event. Let's test it. Mm, no thanks. No thanks. You can test it on your non-streak attempts if you like. All right. So if I'm going one, two, three, four, five, the only chance to store would be exit beacon. And you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do this. I just want to have these all online. This is a lot of investment in my starting systems, but. It, it crew kills, so, and since I'm guaranteed to not get a store, watch this distress beacon be an immediate store. I'm, I'm gonna actually invest in this full build. Okay, this guy can't damage us. And he's not running. Beautiful. Did everyone, did everyone have the wiki link for this event? What? I don't, I don't know. I should be training dodging. I should train dodges. Alright, I'm gonna get them both low. Okay, kill one. While letting his weapons fire. Uh, I have a feeling it'll take me two anti-bio beam shots here, so what I'm gonna do... I'm actually gonna... F I'm gonna fire this not at him. Someplace he'll never go to train. Keep his shields down as we do this. Which slug ship is this? This is Slug A. Mm. How long ago I'm gonna 
train. I need eight more shots. Hmm. This is not Slug C. Slug C would be OP, way more OP than this. I need to be careful that if I'm gonna crew kill this, I don't accidentally kill this ship too too hard. Alright, so five more five more dodges. I'll just fire this for the weapon training. Five more dodges. We can wait for that. Slug C is the yellow submarine ship that starts with mind control plus hacking. One of the strongest ships in the game. Yeah, hacking is so good. Beetle deedle doodle do. Alright, five more dodges, is that what I said? Yeah. Uh, this is Sector 1 still. We just started. There's one dodge, very nice. And I think we've crew killed every ship so far, actually. So. So the fact that I've gotten all of my weapons online, uh, a free crew and second shield, is a pretty good start. Now, the one store we saw had only missile weapons, so... Weapon choice at the beginning, not great. Alright, what is that? Three more dodges I need. I'm only going to train to level 2 rather than level 3 or the, 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 the green level, not the yellow level, because I'm just too impatient. But I, this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. Um, these crew are absolutely staying in these positions, or at least these two crew are, because that's immunity to losing dodge from mind control on this ship, so... And we're getting weapon training at the same time, slowly, but it is it is good to take the training when you're doing these uh, when you do these streaks. Do I like Gouda cheese? No, <laughs> you've had an addiction. I'm not a big cheese fan. This is gonna sound really stupid American, but my favorite cheese is actually probably mozzarella is good. Mozzarella is probably my real favorite, but apart from that, the only other cheese I eat very often is what we call American cheese, which is like not a real cheese, it's like a processed cheese. But it's on burgers and sandwiches just to give creaminess. So... I'm, I'm not a big cheese person. Cheese, I feel like, is for people who like, um... Um... Is it bitter? What's what's the what's the flavor profile that a lot of cheeses are? That like you know like all the stinky cheeses and stuff. What is that? Umami or something? I don't know. I should train with missiles, Kappa. Is that umami? I I'm more of a sweet and savory type of person and less an, of a, an umami person. So my ex loved all the stinkiest of cheeses, and I'm just. That's, that is not my thing. American cheese is what made you hate fast food cheeseburgers as a kid, really? I love them because it's just it, it's just creamy. It has like no flavor, but adds creaminess. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I eat cookies all the time. There's my sweet tooth and I love like beef and chicken are my favorite things. So that's savory, so. Yeah, I, I had some stuff with Gruyere and it's it's okay. It's a little too pungent. A little strong for me, and I'm pretty sure Gruyere is considered a pretty mild cheese. Got right, one more dodge. So. Like Munster and Gruyere. Munster is best. There it is. We got there. We got there. All right, let's crew kill this guy. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me do this. Got him. Oh, a small bomb. Well, is that better than a breach bomb? It's two system damage. It's no breach. But it is actually get better for getting through shields. Uh, it's same crew damage, more system damage, no breach, but a possible fire. Man, these both seem really similar to me. Um, Britnoth, I think, calls this the best bomb in the game. I feel like I like small bomb better just because I like system damage. System damage is guaranteed shields down by one. One, two, three, four. Yep. All right, so we have to crew kill this ship. If we don't crew kill this ship, we take 15 free hull damage. So 
Let's actually do this. Let's start with both bombs. In case he's running. If he's not running, we'll swap this out. Depends on the application for burgers. It's Munster all the way. Munster with cheddar is a great burger. Okay. He has no way to do damage to our ship. Perfect. Uh, he does have a rock, dude, so... Okay, that was a triple hit there. I'm purposely not hitting shields. I want them to all stay in a row here. Okay, haha. <laughs> well, anti-biobeam is definitely good at this quest. As long as we don't have like a missile or something. Nice doge. And there it is, a fireball. You know what I want? I want a grab bag of all the bombs in the game. Firebomb, small bomb, breach bomb. Just give me all the bombs. It's not really what I wanted, honestly. All right, well, successful. Quest was successful, at least. Man, freaking firebomb. I could go firebomb, anti-biobeam, go full crew killing. What a terrible setup that would be. Just finished watching my Rockbeat Crystal Sector run. It's so hyped to take in. Awesome. Okay, don't die, please. We we'll probably take damage here. Uh, the level 2 piling might protect us from it, though. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. We actually took no damage. Level 2 piloting value, baby! Ha ha ha! Level 2 piloting value. Saved us from one hole damage there. Where do I consider Biobeam on a tier list? The very, very bottom. However, I'm a little biased against things that can't kill ships. Um, so I might be a little too hard on it. Just like I might be too hard on missiles because you run out of those. But anti-biobeam, crew killing is such a good thing that I might need to actually reconsider some of my things. Some of my tier lists. Alright. That was a really, really crazy good Sector 1. I think we got 13 jumps Sector 1. Uh... That was a really good Sector 1, though. Final jump, not as good, but it's okay. Get the uh, Mantis to crew kill final last hits on all these if we can. Martial arts master Dr. Jones over here. What's up, Shogi? Have a nice vacation until Steve and I said hi? I will. I'll even say hi to Jeannie, because Jeannie is coming into town. She is visiting while I'm there, which is ra so random. But I definitely will, man. Do, 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 do. You consider you consider uh, biobeam high C, low B. If you rank it by its own value compared to other weapons, it's ass. Okay. I will, man. I will. Be good to see Jeannie. I, I saw my sister a couple months ago because she came into Dallas, but it's probably been years. But since I've seen her before that. Okay, this is a really good sh ship. Just because a single burst laser too is crazy. Okay. I think we will probably crew kill every single ship this sector, which is kind of insane. Um... I don't crew kill enough in my games, and I'm pretty sure we just crew killed this entire sector, which is crazy to me. I don't know if I've ever crew killed an entire sector before. Even with this ship, which 
starts with the best weapons you could probably ask for to make that happen. All right. Sector successfully um, genocided. We just exterminated this entire sector. That is actually crazy to me. Oh, what was the last movie I watched? Hmm. I don't watch movies very often. What was the last movie I watched? Wow, Abandoned Civilian. That's actually a really good choice. What was the last movie I watched? I haven't watched Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness next. That's probably the first movie I'm going to watch when I go to my brother's. I can't think. I can't think of what the last movie I watched was. God, this is a tough choice. Um, I think... I have the same number of green sectors both ways. I have two forced green sectors here, which could be forced Zoltan sectors. Congrats on the genocide, thanks. You recently watched Rango. One of the best movies out there. I've never seen that. Normally, Abandoned Sector is terrible, but Sector 2 and 3 Abandoned are actually very good sectors. That's why I'm having a tough choice here. I think we get more stores in Civilian, and I really want to replace some of these weapons with actual uh, ship-killing weapons. So, let's go Civilian. I mean, basically, I need to replace my bombs with things that are not going to use up all of my missiles. So, Civilian's always the best choice. I was acting like it, we were going to take another choice. But, okay, so we can get another... One extra jump from two nebulas, so that's 13. So, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here in 8 at the latest. It's an animated 2011, holds up very well, drama for the content. You get it. No, I was being dramatic for the content. I guess so. It's... Honestly, Abandoned is good, Sector 2. Unless you have a ship that's really weak versus something in specific. I don't know what that would be. Okay, first laser one. That's great. Um, God, what do I sell for it, though? Because Small Bomb and Breach Bomb are both really good. I think I actually hold on to Bio Beam... Because um, crew killing has been so effective, I think I'll do this, this, and go like this. And I'm gonna actually not sell anti-bio beam yet. Potential. If we have ships that can't do damage to us, it's absolutely worth holding on to that for crew kills. Um, wow, that's a lot of stores. What did I say? Uh, let's see. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So, here in 6. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's do that. All right, free stuff. Free stuff, man. There's Julian versus favorite weapon. Uh, okay. NG. We definitely buy NG. I was thinking Rock Crew could be good, but NG is always, always, always value. You get a single blue option, NG pays for itself. So we're going to go with that. I was really hoping for hacking or even mind control to get one of the two systems I want. But we've seen three stores, so we don't get another store unless there's a... Ah, uh, like an event store, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Would be cool if enemies could have anti bow beams. That would be terrifying, actually. Wow, these have been some really weak ships. <laughs> All right. Well, let's group kill them. Beep, 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 beep. Let's just do it. Continue the genocide. It's what we do on the stream, apparently. We just murder humans. Small and breach, breach one's very similar. Breach is better against men's to rock. Small is better against auto ships for ship killing. 
Well, that sucked. He dodged one shot, and our other shot got blocked by an, uh, a fire drone. Wow, what a what a what a play! <sighs> okay, that was a um, hundred percent of my last three shots being dodged. Thanks, video game. This is just annoying. It's not hurting me, except maybe mentally. Okay, delete his crew. Um, hotel Wi-Fi is F tier, so you're gonna have to catch the YouTube odds. All right, Skyfair. Sorry to hear you have crappy Wi-Fi at the hotel. How goes the dying to missiles fun? So far, I we fought one ship with missiles. So, that's why I've been crew killing so much. Because the enemy offense has been, like, ridiculously weak. So, it's been great for us, actually. Alright, weapons are trained. Piloting is doing pretty well. Ten more dodges or so. So, I can do some upgrades if I want. Um, let's do a dodge upgrade. And then let's maybe save our scrap after that. So what do we have? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, there. Speaking of missiles, you just had to say something about missiles, didn't you? Didn't you? It's triple mantis. So we probably crew kill him after we get the missile offline. Good. It's a fire. Uh, he has a heal bay, actually. Okay. <laughs> he has a heal bay that is on fire, actually. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I, I I think we have actually crew killed every ship we fought so far. This is crazy, man. This is probably what how Hollow plays this ship would be my guess. Just like force crew kills as much as possible. You played too much multiverse, you've nearly lost all your familiarity for vanilla hard gameplay. Sounds like a sounds like a personal problem. The empty jump is empty. Alright, first auto scout. First guy we literally cannot crew kill. And he's running away. Okay. Breach Bomb is actually really good against these ships too to stop them from being able to repair. Okay. I'll use one to guarantee he can't get out. That's fine. Okay. All right, we couldn't crew kill that guy because we can't kill the AI on that ship. If only we could. If only. Antibio beam, des beam deserves promotion to at least B tier. I don't know, man. I don't know. In my opinion, this thing is only good early game. When you're fighting ships that have weak offense and not enough defense to stop your laser, your, your beam from getting through. It's really slow. I don't know. It may be, I could maybe, I think I have it probably an F or D. I could maybe move it up one tier, but I actually don't remember exactly where I put it, so. What's up, Amberzak? For some reason you could never get into multiverse, you usually just play vanilla or captain's edition. Wow, you'll play captain's edition over multiverse. That's crazy. All right, attack the pirate. All right, this is a crew kill ship. Uh, too generous, good at its job, but it's the same job, doesn't apply late game often, yeah. I just, I feel like it's something that's only good early game is... 
I don't know. Maybe there, are, maybe there are good applications of anti-bio beam later, and I just am too close-minded. I don't know. It's been amazing this run, but I feel like a lot of things would have been amazing this run because these ships have been ridiculously weak. We've fought two ships with missiles, and everybody else can't get through two shields. So, fire four anti-bio beams plus hacking would be so OP, Kappa. Um, let's see here. So we're getting two distress beacons. Is there anything I can upgrade that gives me a chance of distress beacon being successful? I think level two heal bay might actually do that. And since there's no stores, I'm going to do some upgrades I hardly ever do. So, like, I never upgrade my weapons this early on this ship. But uh, our store weapons have been crap, so level two heal bay, let's go. This guy can't damage us. He has clone bay and teleporter. And two NGs. He's going to board with an NG. Okay. Go ahead and deal with him now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to wait till we kill him before I take his stuff offline. Just in case he teleports back and we don't kill him. Okay, he did do that. So, don't be level two, don't be level two. Perfect. If I were the AI, AI, I'd be so pissed right now. Well, he killed my crew and then shot my clone bait? That's not random. You're right, it's not random. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we are just deleting enemy crew. This is insane. I feel like this is the best I've started with the Slug A in a long time, maybe ever. Oh no, an NG boarding us. How do we deal with it, Kappa? I know, so ran dumb, right? Alright, so we should have a lot of blue options. We have anti-bio beam for giant alien spiders. We have... There might be some bomb things. There's plenty of blue NG options for... Distress beacons, so let's see what we got. I need to look up the one for the level 2 heal bay if we see it. Okay, there we go. Use a bio beam, pick up spiders. <laughs> All right. 69 scrap, baby. There we go. Anti bio beam showing its quality. All right. Uh, this is one of the ones that I don't know of level 2 heal bay. Uh, refugee ship drifting in space. Will level two heal bay protect me from that? Refugee ship drifting in space. I think this might be the one that clone bay protects you. Is this cannibals? Clone bay, yeah. This you need clone bay for, damn it. So we can't do that one. Clone bay is the protection on that guy. Events like that are the reason why clone bay is um, objectively better than heal bay. Seven missiles from that spider event. Eh. I'm going to sell ten of them. I'm hoping to not be reliant on breach missile much longer. Zoltan or pirate? Wow, this is actually a pretty scary choice. Uh, do I want Zoltan border police or do I want pirates who board me and slugs with three shields and Zoltan ships in pirate sectors? Ah. Uh, I think pirate is less scary, I think. Hmm. I can free intruders, okay. You for just a bit and do this. Do a little dolphin flip practice, because why not? I don't want any of you to kill that guy. I want you to get all the kills. Very good. All right, level two martial arts master, Dr. Jones here. Uh, is Alton always an O? Yeah. How does Sector 2 go? We, we crew killed everybody. 
So we're staying on theme. The theme of genocide. I'm not sure... This thing was kind of on the edge. I'm not sure if this actually gets us one extra jump. So let me go here, then we'll decide if we go back to the nebula or not. Man, empty jumps so far. Alright, let's go in. I don't see a store, so let's go back in. Jesus. Okay, well, here's the level 2 piloting. Please... Please don't be the 50-50 of nothing. Nice! What do y'all think? Is that a dive or not? I would guess no, but that's right at the edge where if that is a dive, I would actually not be surprised at all. I just, I can't tell. I just can't tell on those. I don't know if it is a dive or not, man. Totally no dive. Yeah, I don't trust you in and you've been trolling too much. You're the boy who crawled troll. The boy who says Kappa too much. All right, so this guy we will crew kill after we get his uh, weapons to where they can't do damage. So we do this. He dodges. Okay. Okay, one more missile. There it is. Good. Good dodges. Keep the shields down. Okay, one more shot should do it. I don't think I need to breach... And use another missile. Got him. Beautiful. Alright, the genocide. Let the genocide continue. What, you're trolling? Yes. Yes. You, you remember all those kappas you put before? That is that is that is a troll. You are you are trolling. Uh 151 scrap. I really, really want a store right now. <laughs> A store with, a, like, any weapon or systems would be amazing. I have so much scrap. You want to be the Mantis. Okay, give me a second, Derp. I can't do it in an asteroid field. I will use one missile. One missile to hopefully avoid a missile. One two damage missile. Ouch. But it's fine, it's fine. Not too bad. You're just cheating since you're using uh, consumables when you only have one fight to use that consumable in. It's fine, it's fine. I'm used to your cheating, FTL. God, look at all the scrap and not a store in sight. Never thought you'd be impressed by FTL play. Hey, thanks, Concrete. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, that sucks. Ah, frickin' two damage missiles, two fights in a row, man. Ouch. Frickin' cheating FTL. Of course, we're really strong, so I can't get too mad. But I will, I reserve the right to get mad at any time at FTL. It is my... Freedom of my American freedom. America freedom to get mad at any time I want to. Thematically, anti-bio beam doesn't make sense to you. How are they firing a beam weapon that does no system all damage but impacts bodies? Understands the game, but that part makes you, you go, eh. Okay. Alright, so who wanted to be the Mantis? Derp Phipps. Okay. Derp Phipps. Uh, it's like an acid beam. No, acid would re eat through the hull of a ship, too. Where are my stores, man? I should have one store in Fire Sector, right? What's up, Pie Boy? This is going to be one of those runs where we have amazing RNG on everything except stores. Because we've gotten two free bombs so far. Please don't be five free hull damage. Yes! Free weapon! Yes! That is a weapon I can get behind. Okay. And there's a store. 
Well, because the store is here, we're now going to find out if that's a dive or not. It's right at the edge where I think it's not, but it could absolutely be a dive. It's a beam of radiation or microwaves. There you go. All right. Wow, pre-igniter or just a burst laser too. Okay. Now I I just had to whine about my uh, RNG a bunch. Wow. I could just go... Goodness. Um, okay. Anti-biobeam has been amazing. It's time for it to go. Because we have just all of the burst lasers. All of them. You don't have any systems, though, do you, Store? No. Do I take Pre-Igniter with this build? I, I don't know that I want Pre-Igniter. I don't know that I... Well, I always want Pre-Igniter. I don't know that I want to spend the scrap on Pre-Igniter when I still bought zero systems for my ship. So I'm just going to go like this and go, it's burst lasering time, everybody. Pew, 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 pew. Pre-Igniter... My slowest weapon is 12 seconds. I think that's a waste of 120 scrap. Maybe not a waste, but I don't think the value is actually there. Our ship is so strong. Ship is so strong. All we need is systems and we're like basically boss ready. So. Yeah, pre are definitely debate. I don't think the LUA script can count the jumps. The rebel can catch up yet. Okay. Ah, uh, wow, that's a 32 scrap Zoltan actually. You know what? I think I take this deal. We could absolutely take this fight and get a free crew, but the free crew could be a human. I think I would rather spend 32 scrap on a Zoltan than get a free human. That's how much I hate free humans. Welcome aboard, Kapalka. That also gives us a silly device. And if we gain a silly device, then we have blessed the run. Run is blessed. Welcome aboard. Run is blessed. Right, we're about to find out if uh, we are diving or not this sector. Okay, hacking and really good weapons. Thankfully, I also have really good weapons. Thank God he didn't hack my weapons or we would be screwed here. Wow, that was really good dodges. Okay, we had good dodges too, though. Okay. <laughs> the pew-pewinage, the pew-pewining. Our uh, piloting is max now. My weapon should get max soon too, I think. For this weapon system, nice. Can you be the hat stand? You already are. You are the hat stand in my heart, pie boy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Rand commits genocide, buys a slave. More at 11. News 11. Investigate. Ah, I think, I think Improved Med Bay is guaranteed free crew. Hey, it's a human, though. I was excited, and then I saw he was a human, so... Uh, at least we got value out of level 2 heal bay. The value was a human, so it's a value of a tiny amount. Okay, it's not a dive. Nice, no dive. The situational awareness is blowing your mind right now. Hmm? Okay. I could get two more jumps if I want to dive, but it's not worth it. Not with how this run is going. I think the slug crew is also guaranteed free crew, but you're going to check. No, there's a chance he said it's he's unstable. We should leave him. So I think it's like a 50-50 on free crew with the slug. Okay, this one. This one might be level 2 heal base. Smoldering NG Research Station. The... Refugee ship drifting in space is a uh, clone bay, but FTL smolder, smol, smoldering NG research station. I think this might be level two heal bay. Save the NG. Clone bay protects you. Save the drone schematic. Clone bay protects you. Improve sensors. Long range can Oh man, seriously? It's clone bay on this one too, man. Uh, level two sensors or long range scanners, and I have neither of those. This is why clone bay is just better than heal bay, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
I can't risk I have enough crew, I actually probably could risk it, but I'm just not going to do it. No reason to risk my crew. One, two, three, four. Frickin' Clone Bay is what I wish I had. Turn Stricker 3, you missed the big sad. You did miss it. It was, uh, what was it, Zoltan C that we lost the uh, 18 in a row streak on? I think Slug Crew should help with that because of their mind, knowledge, vision. Yeah. Okay, hacking. Finally some systems. Okay. Alright, let's go hacking and... Uh, I think nothing else. I could get defense drone. Drone control. It's expensive, but I don't think I want to spend the scrap on that. So hacking is now our missile defense, so I'm going to get level 2 on that. Now it's... Uh, the, the max OP-ness is hacking, cloaking, mind control. We're now looking for cloaking and mind control. Our weapons are done. Unless I see a flak. But otherwise our weapons are done. These are actually pretty good weapons. I am going to hack your weapon system. Beautiful. Uh, have I lost the human and gotten the NG? I could have lost the human and gotten the NG. True. It's very true. That could have been what happened. No, no deal. You're dead too, asteroids. From what you've read, the slug A is a good one with drones. No drooms, no rooms in the blind spot. Uh, yeah, you might be right about that. You might be right about that. But, I'll, I'll be honest, I hardly ever buy drone control if a ship doesn't start with it. I just find drone control to be, well, it's not one of the three big ones, cloaking, hacking, mind control, so. Dirt Fibs, you sure leave and come back a lot. So, all right, search for the ship. Please no fight for your whole damage. All right, well, the last one wasn't fight for your whole damage. I guess I'll take that one. Could have also lost the piling on the NG. You will continue fight for Anne's flag to fly over the known universe. All right, thanks, appreciate that. Mr. Weapons Guru. These distress beacons have not been great, I feel like. Yay, I found the five free hole damage. God, there's a lot of distress in this NG sector. But you didn't have to pay for it. They're just pirates. Oh, wow. Double ion, double beam. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to hack piloting here. Okay, I meant to hit cloaking. I somehow failed. It's okay. Let's take out the weapons. We wait for cloaking for the second volley. Remember, everybody, that whole damage was free. We didn't even have to pay for it. We didn't have to pay for it. There was free hole damage. Wow, he's two shields and a value point. Jesus. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh wow, that's level two or three cloaking? No, it's only level two, I think. Please burn down cloaking. No, no, no. Wow, that's a really good deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's like a, what, 60 scrap deal or something? Goodness gracious, you know how to deal, sir. You, sir, know how to make a deal. Is free as in free bear? Is that, was that supposed to be free beer? Or maybe was that was that what that was a free bear? A free bear to come eat all our food. Okay. All right. I'm hoping this door has cloaking that I can buy. What for? Can empty jumps in a row and a slug nebula? You're now out of fuel and about to be overtaken. Your streak is not going well. Sad times, creepy unicorn. Giant alien spiders, man. If only we'd kept the uh, anti-bio beam. Leave it alone. These have been some really crappy uh, distress beacons. They've, I have so many blue options with, you know, hacking, level 2 heal bay, Zoltan, NG. And I'm getting all the ones that I don't have blue options for. Now, there's backup battery. There's heavy laser. Um, 
I don't think buying any weapon that's not a flak or a halberd beam is, is correct right now. So, we always do this. This would be nice because it's a, a one power weapon I can use as a transition till the burst laser, but I, don't, I feel like I just don't need it. I think I just keep that till I get it online. And I take out all the systems that are not the systems that we want, that we can buy. So basically buy the subsystem so that you now cloaking and hacking, uh, cloaking and mind control can appear. And there's a store that I can't uh, get anything from. So just one, two, three. You know what? Free bear getting mad and wrecking the hole also works, I guess. Okay. You did mean free beer. Okay. It's a free beer when you buy one at double price. All right, uh, it's a big giant missile. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hack piloting to shoot all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shots here. So that's five damage. I think that'll guarantee the missile goes down. I think. Nice. Double fire will definitely do it. Heavy laser not bad if I had the scrap. No, heavy laser is amazing, but buying weapons when you have weapons like this is how you waste scrap in hard difficulty. I don't need to buy weapons. It's like it's like buying a flak when you have a burst laser too. It's good, but unless it actually upgrades your weapons, it's kind of a waste. And you have to be max efficiency in hard mode, especially in no pause. Feels weird that my ace boarding crew can still get wrecked by giant alien spiders. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, um, this guy has to get... Oh, no, he's got a missile. Okay, we hacked his shields. Just say he has to get lucky to do damage until I stop the missile. Subscribe, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Six fuel, eight missiles. If that was a bunch of drone parts, I'd take it. Do I take it for the fuel? No. I just need... Oh, that's a fire. I just need cloaking and mind control on my, my run. Is, my, my ship is done. You have to be so efficient you bought a human in a run just to vent it, Kappa. Wow. Hey, HD, thank you so much for the 12 months and two months in a row. Appreciate the prime sub, my friend. Uh, okay. I'm gonna not use a drone part since we're... Somehow I only have seven drone parts. Did I give away drone parts at some point? I'm not sure. Or have I really just got that few? I think I've just gotten that few drone parts this run. It's kind of crazy. Teleport would be a new blue option for spiders that you would draw without losing crew, but no reward. Eh. You could make that argument for many systems and many events to have other blue options. I started with zero and I got that few so far. I guess so. We did just get one there. All right. Um, yikes. Well, it's never rock, right? But Mantis is actually pretty scary. Hopefully I can find an early store in Mantis with mind control to deal with free borders. Because Mantis... Ugh, can be scary. Yeah, I know. Never, and never result in never rock, but I always... I try not to just snap make decisions too often. Because I used to do that, and I feel like... You gotta, you gotta at least think about your options. Even if you go with what your gut was telling you at first, sometimes you have to think about things. There's cloaking, there's mind control. Okay. All right. Heavy Laser 2 is also amazing, but again, buying any weapons when I just need systems seems like a misplay. So we buy this to repair. I'm gonna buy, I'm actually gonna buy, I'm gonna buy one drone part. And I think it's one to two stores in the sector, but I also feel like I just need power, so. Next is third shield or cloaking. Rock for stores, Mantis for weaker ships. And we went to Mantis and got a store, so, you know, it's always random. It's never, never, never guaranteed. 
Um, okay. So I can go here and up and around, okay. Fire beam, that was the play for me to poop on. Okay. For your friends. Probably don't need to hack, but I want to. That's a lot of lasers. Just enough doges, thankfully. Shoot the heal bay just in case I can crew kill, but nah. We are too much of a pew pew ship to get any more crew kills. Who am I kidding? We're not crew killing. We already did that. We we committed genocide to an entire two sectors. We're done crew killing, probably. Double reward? Nice! Whew! Man, what was that? Was that like a that was like a 60 to 70 scrap double reward or something like that? That's awesome. Fire beam is for fun and profit. Well, we already did fun and profit with anti-bio beam at the beginning of this run, so. Alright, 66 scrap for store. Ah, oh, man. I think I go there just for the chance at long-range scanners. Cloaking we could never buy, but long-range scanners would would absolutely be worth. Twisty, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. And of course, I hope they have no cloaking and long-range scanners, and they have cloaking and no long-range scanners, so. Alright. That was a bit of a waste to jump, sadly. Yeah, long range scanner is so good, it's worth checking for. Uh, Pride Open could be a lost crew, so jettison. We're not stupid. Again, that's the third event that Clone Bay would have protected us from. Six, five, four, three, two, okay. That, my level two heal bay has given us... Has my level two, two heal bay given us any... Yeah, it gave us the one human. That's what level two heal bay has done for us. That is double bombs, okay. What has level two heal bay done for us lately? Giving us a free human. So it's made my ship worse is what you're saying. Dance men bay doesn't protect you? No, not from that event. Clone bay protects you because you'll kill your crew and they just come out of the clone bay mad. Level 2 heal bay does not protect you from that. Nice reward, though. Jeez. Alright, that is enough for third shield. Let's go ahead and do it. Even though it delays, like, getting cloaking. So, we have better laser defense, worse missile defense right now is what we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We've seen two stores, so it kind of doesn't matter where we go, since we don't know what's at the jumps. I guess if we somehow got a delay, one, two, three, four, potentially five, six might be worth something, I don't know. Uh, Advanced Medbay doesn't protect against the legendary Mantis Quick Draw McGraw. That's right. Quick Draw McGraw. The mantis are on your bo on your ship. The world turns red. The end of sad days. Go kill your friends. Your world has changed. It's a mantis in your ship, and it's received red. All right, FTL. All right. Come on in. The crew killing's fine. Let the mantis get the let us get the full crew training. There's no counter to the legendary Dread Pirate Shogi. <laughs> the Dread Pirate Shogi. Alright, we kind of just need power right now. Power and save up for cloaking. Wow, these, these ships though. Okay, I really wish I had cloaking right now. Insane weapons and uh, porting. Good. No weapons for you, please. Damn it, 
course, only the missile stays online. Good. Missile down. Okay, double fire, or a, at least a fire. Uh, this might be a crew kill. Only three crew left. Weapons on fire. That looks like a crew kill to me. So, we might control the pilot. They are all really low. Okay. All right. We'll just uh, just so I don't accidentally kill their ship while I'm trying to crew kill them. I'm gonna wait for mind control. Mind control the pilot, and that's GG crew kill. GG crew kill. Happy crew killing day, everybody. And then we do this, and that's that's that is it. That is not a great reward for a crew kill. Really? I don't care about missiles, and that's not that much scrap, I feel like, for Sector 5. Maybe that's high scrap rewards for Sector 5. I don't know. It doesn't feel that high. Okay. In your normal runs, you have had great success with the maneuver. Hack weapons and laser and fire lasers into it. Oh, no, that wasn't Kazak. No, it wasn't Kazak. I haven't seen Kazak yet. Man, is this a store? Damn it. All right, well, at least it's not a store that I'm missing out on. Long-range scanners or something. A blue option for a store is not really good for us right now. But yeah, if I wanted to get the Kazak, I would need level 3 sensors. Since I don't have teleporter, we wouldn't have been able to do Kazak. Can you quickly ask, of course, is there a benefit of having a crewmate in the drone room? No. Here, speaking of Kazak. Uh, there is no value of... There is no manning station in drone control. But sadly, that does not do anything. This guy's got pretty good pew punage. I'll probably still try to crew kill him, but... There's no value out of crew killing Kazak without level 3 sensors or teleporter. You don't get anything bonus from that. A great mystery has gone unsolved. Sad, sad taze to miss out on what a great mystery that was. Did our Scooby-Doo this crap didn't work for that one. Um, What maneuver are you talking about? Masala maneuver is hacking and mind controlling a, a system. The same system. Imagine if manning drones made them smarter. If you could man drone systems and you could actually control them, same with mind control, that would actually be quite useful. I'm holding that drone for reasons. What? I don't understand. Is that a, is that a question? Attack four, get attacks, peaceful lend you away. Oh my god, it's a giant missile! Ugh. Ugh, China missile, Zoldan, fucking bomber. What a bullshit ship. Not my weapons, not my weapons. Okay. Wasn't my weapons, at least. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Six damage from a single fucking missile. This is why missiles are stupid, busted, and unfair, and broken, and I hate them in this stupid, shitty game. I am having an amazing run, a single bullshit fight, and I lose a third of my health. Fucking big giant missiles are stupid. God damn it. I will never not get salty at bullshit giant missiles. It's such... It's a timer on your health. As Justin Ma said, and I effing hate them. Six damage, and it cost him two missiles. The only counter would have been if I had clone bay or cloaking, which I didn't have. Six salt for six damage. There you go. He was a very nice guy. A very nice guy who designed a game to make me rage out my ass. Right, I said it. Oh, Force Zoltan. Well, 
I hope we get a Zoltan shield for this because we're probably getting boarded by Zoltan border police that might just kill us. Um, do I want to upgrade doors? I already have level two doors. Now I'm just going to save my scrap. The only thing I want from this sector is potentially the Zoltan shield quest and cloaking if we can get it. Hear them out. Okay, that's great. We get the immediate quest and it's right by the exit. Beacon, this could be an amazing sector. If I go there, um, it's a dive, so uh, not a yeah, it would be a dive, so I can't go there unless I do it inefficiently. So I need scrap before a store and buy cloaking. That's the that's the hope. Um, that's right in the middle where I can't tell if one nebula gets its next jump or if it'll take two. So I'm gonna go into nebula nebula to see. Would it, have been, would it have been worth having the weapons before? Would it have been worth hacking the weapons? Um, because he had Zoltan Shield and I had to get through Zoltan Shield before I could have even done that? No, I don't think it was worth. I think the best play was to get shields down as quickly as possible and shoot the weapons. I'm pretty sure that was the best way to avoid that damage. Because then I would be having... Then I would be shooting seven shots at three shields. I don't think that was better. Um, okay. This, I always say there's a chance of double reward if I save the Manta ship, but that's not actually true. So I'm going to interfere. Because I would rather fight a Mantis than a Zoltan. Please don't interfere. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interfere then. We asked you not to interfere. Don't worry, I'm interfering. I'm helping. Okay, that's fine. Please don't interfere. Okay, I'll go ahead and start interfering. Why are you interfering? Because you asked me to interfere. I said don't interfere! Don't worry. I'm totally helping. Totally helping right now. How close are you to having repair training, silly dice? Seven more repairs. Wow, I didn't realize how many repairs you have to do to actually get repair training. It's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, the interference made us interfere. Here we interfere, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm interfering. Why are you interfering? Okay. Um... <laughs> You know what? I might hack these weapons. I think I might. I think with two shields, I think I must solemn maneuver this. Keep you in there. This is the masala maneuver. Hack weapons, my control weapons. That's the play. And we take zero damage. Perfect. You leave and come back and have a burst laser too. Wow, that was like three sectors ago. But yes, yes I do. We have a pew pew winning. It's not a good enough deal. We have all of the lasers. All of them. Please, static, interfere. Okay, I'll interfere. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, 20 more scrap and I can buy cloaking. So, God, yeah, it's right at the edge. This one's similar to the last one where I... I, I am honestly not sure if that's a dive or not. I think I take three nebula jumps. Because that guarantees we get... Uh, well, no, actually... One jump guarantees we get one. Three guarantees we get two, right? So we get ten if we go through two, uh, three more nebulas. So one, two, three... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get we're gonna get all these. It's no dive, no worries. Yeah, for some reason I don't trust you, Enin. For some reason, all of the Kappa statements you've made make me unable to trust you. Alright. Oh, 
All the fires, man. Why are you guys set me on fire, though? Why you gotta set me on fire? Good scrap games, though. 45 is really nice. That looks like not a dive, but I could take one more nebula to guarantee it. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking the nebula to guarantee that it's not a dive. Yo, dog, heard you like fire. No, no, I don't like fire. Who told you that? Was it Steve? Because Steve's a... Steve's lazy. He doesn't even shoot missiles on on the job. Steve told you that. He's a liar. All right, we have enough for cloaking. And all I'm looking for is a store with cloaking now. All right, three shields. This is this is this is the kind of ship where I'm unsure what to hack, because I usually level two hack three shield ships, but an auto scout. Let's let's think about this. If I hack piloting, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven shots. So I have four shots guaranteed to hit. His missile stays offline even if I get every shot guaranteed into weapons, right? Because that looks like two two power weapons. So I'm pretty sure his weapon stays online guaranteed. If I hack shields, I have a chance that seven shots hit him. He would have to dodge over three of my shots for the shield hack to be worse. Do I think he's likely to dodge three or more shots? I don't know. Let's hack a shield and find out. He dodged two, so it was actually better. What we did was better. So it's very much RNG based there, which was better. But that time the shield hack was better than that that shot, that second shot would have been bad if that happened during the shield hack. So it was completely RNG based, which which was better hack there. See, he dodged nothing that time. Of course, we were just piloting on our first or second volley, so. Missiles will always stay online regardless of weapon placement. That is incorrect. Unless you forgot the kappa. Yeah. Um, I think ever since the update they did a couple years ago, missiles stay up, up more often, but they're not, they don't always stay up. There, there, there are things, there are situations I've seen where a missile will go down because of power in other systems or something. I don't know the algorithm for it. Okay, that is still enough for cloaking. Now we'll have 100% dodge if we do get cloaking. That's a pulsar. Okay, we just always hack weapons when he's got a pulsar. Kill your friends. We're gonna wait. We let the laser fire. We hack this. Rise pulsar goes off, we fire everything. Beautiful. And now his weapons are on fire. Perfect. Uh, this is a potential crew kill. Yeah, I think we crew kill this actually. Uh, how much health do you have? 34? Nice! One health left! Crew kill. Eutimus. Forgot to move my crew back to weapon manning. In your experience, unless the weapons are red, they are always the last weapon to go down. It's FTL being FTL. Uh, I will say that is often the case, especially when they have a one power missile, but it's not guaranteed. I believe. Yeah, like Pyboy says, there is a timing thing where if they just fired a missile and then their weapons get damaged to the point where they could choose the missile or another weapon, if the missile just fired, they're actually going to prioritize the weapon that has a higher 
charge on it, which would be not the missile. I believe. Crappy store, no cloaking. Is there another store? All I want is cloaking. I'm gonna buy one drone part. Sadly, you cannot turn all your FTL knowledge into good, into good streaks. It's hard, man. It's... There, there is, there's a reason why this is considered a skill-based thing. It's just, it's not just RNG. Okay. And it's not just luck. You gotta have both. But practice. If you practice, maybe you can get it. But my god, it is hard. It is definitely hard. I think trying to win streak in FTL is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in a video game. The biggest challenge I've ever given myself, or whatever. I'm not a person who, like, speed runs or tries to min max strategy games, so. If I wasn't a streamer, I would never be trying to do this. Tend to think shield hack is better than pilot hack on average, but that pilot hack is more consistent. I agree, but there are definitely times when piloting hack is better. But with level 2 hacking, against three shields, I will probably, I would probably say 70% plus of the time I will, I will, I will hack it. I will hack shields over pilot. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you've heard that damaged enemy weapons go down based on which has the lowest charge build up. I think that's correct. Thank you for not being free borders. Wow, uh, so there was either only one store in this sector, or I didn't see a store. Because I'm pretty sure Zolden Homeworld is guaranteed to have... Is it two to three, or maybe it is one to two? Alright, well we go one, two, three, four. Because that is either an Envoy or a Zolden Shield, and we're hoping it's a Zolden Shield. 234 scrap. Let's get... How close are we for the weapon? Let's do that. We might be able to get this burst laser on soon. I'm still being greedy and saving enough scrap to always be able to buy cloaking in case we get like a random store from an event. Here. Here, I think Weapon Hack was better because he's only got level 1 shields. And fuck you, FTL! God damn it. <sighs> okay, he's got no weapons. It's fine. God damn. This piece of shit thing. Can't even think of what it's called. My brain's not working. Uh, I an intruder drone. Goddamn thing. Into my fucking weapons. It's so annoying. Jesus, if you go into my weapons twice in a row, okay. Okay, F you. Get wrecked. God, I hate iron intruder drones. An iron intruder drone in the weapons is one of the trolliest things apart from missiles that the game could throw at you. Christ almighty. You prefer a pilot hack on the main because it removes a random element. Homeworld should be two stores. You think it's at least two? Okay, well then I just missed one. I, I, I didn't see it. It was probably down in the bottom where I didn't check or here that I didn't see. Or, no, I saw that jump. So I don't know where the other jump... I don't know what I missed. Okay. 185. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the one power. Ion Rooter Drone. It's true. So rude. Ooh. 
Okay, we don't take damage, thank god. Nice double fire in the shields. These triple drone ships are the real tough ones to get the eye on. Eye on intruder. Uh, the hacking drone passed. Wow, we are getting zero dodges against this burst laser. Thank God the halberd beams offline. Okay. All right, please, um, reverse psychology. Please give me envoy. My life for Envoy. Tempt to hail them. Perhaps there can be a reconciliation of our deals without war. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. And... Yes! The reverse psychology worked! We have a Zoltan shield, my friends. We have a Zoltan shield. That's good. Unless there's a store... In case there's a store at the exit beacon, I am not going to get this weapon up yet. No, no envoy, sad. Um, I have a Zultan Shield too, sir. You're not the only one with Zultan Shield. Oh, but you are the one with the guy that cancels out my Zultan Shield. That actually really sucks. And really good dodges too. Come on, come on. Okay, pretty good dodges. Uh, more generous bi bribe. You know, two drone parts is actually a pretty good bribe. Um, you know what? I am kind of worried about my drone part numbers. Am I that worried, though? Am I that worried? 19 scrap is low. Nah, reject. Um, do we ever crew kill this with two rock dudes and a bunch of fires? Probably not. Chuned64, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. With a heal bay. Nah, we never could kill this. Alright. 58 scrap. Oh, free hull repair. Store? Uh, okay. If that was a store with cloaking, 100% that would have been the right choice, but... They just patched me up. No, no extra store. <laughs> Can we rename the Zeltan Shield to Envoy? Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Mantis or Slug Controlled? Um, slug actually has more stores. Slug Sector 7 is actually terrifying because that's where you can find, that where you can fight five, sec uh, five shield ships. But all we want is cloaking, so we have to go to Slug for higher store chance. We have to do that. All right, immediate store, no immediate store. So we get the level 202. Get the level three hacking because five shield ships. Okay. Yeah, definitely level three hacking. Absolutely. You know what? I would actually go inefficient for a store right now for a store because there's only one thing in this run we're looking for, and it's cloaking. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is a nine power weapon system. So he doesn't have five shields, but he does have a cheating weapon system. Man, these even are timed out well, aren't they? God, this is really insane. Shit build. Of course you have 8,000% dodge with your four shields. Why wouldn't you? Okay, good dodges for us though, and we did get a fire in the shields, which is very good as well. Okay, cloaking down, perfect. And mind control is useless in this system or sector two, which sucks. You're running, are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay, good. Got them out of there. Okay, he's not running now. Uh his cloak is gonna come back up. Not if we kill him first. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, what's up, Boyd Master? How's the runs going? Well, our first run is alive, and that's because I don't want to jinx it. All I will ever say. Okay. As long as we get three scrap, we have anything to sell? 
I could sell a burst. I could sell the burst laser. No, I'm gonna assume we'll get three scrap before we get a store. Hopefully, that's not too greedy of an assumption. They can actually have ten power wep ten power weapons and five shields. God, that would be insane. I'm going to try to not hack here, which is greedy. God, level 3 cloaking, man. Wow. Uh, level 2 cloaking and dodged all my shit. Fun. Alright, it's too greedy. I was too greedy. I wait for the cloak. God damn it, you fucking kidding me. After your weapons, you piece of shit. You don't get to have them anymore. Frickin' cheater. There, no more cloaking either. I have Zeldon Shield and take damage from five lasers with 45% dodge or 40% dodge, whatever the frick it is that I have. I call it cheating even though it's just bad luck. Because that's what I do. I'd love to be able to run level 10 weapons. Imagine burst laser 2, burst laser 2, heavy laser 2, heavy laser 2. Yeah, that would be insane. We were at full health, so it's fine. Okay, that was a really good reward. Okay, I will take... 2 damage for... Oh, close to 100 scrap. I will, that is definitely worthwhile trade. All right, please cloaking. All I care about is cloaking. Damn it. Uh, they actually have systems and they have the only three systems that they could roll that are not cloaking, right? This is the only thing that they could have in the store that's not cloaking. Is that correct? Drone control and crew teleporter. Those are the only other systems they could have. Um, I will take the clone bay though. I will take the clone bay. There is another store, so I'm going to buy one drone part. Hopefully this store will have systems and not then have... The, the ultimate troll would be this this next door have systems and have drone control, crew teleporter, and the heal bay that I just sold. That would be the ultimate troll at this next door. Yeah, next door offering med bay. one of my weapons there. Jesus, man, dude. They, they have 8,000% more dodge than me. Give me a fucking break. Come on, game. Keep turning down these drone part plus fuel deals. And I'm kind of low on both of those things. Okay. That's a lot of fires. Mm, we've done too much damage. This is never a crew kill, right? Yeah. Not since he's out. I have enough to win without cloaking? Sure. But why win weaker than you could? I could win without clone bait. I don't... That's not what I want to do, though. I want to win with max OP-ness. Uh, have at least eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just wondering why is Clone Bay worth it at this point in the run with this setup? Because if I get a single distress beacon that is giant alien spiders that gains us scrap, um, then it will have paid for itself. No systems. And it's also protection against boarding events, like random dudes immediately boarding you and one-shotting a guy or something. Clone Bay is just better. And what else am I going to spend my scrap on? Like, I, I can still, I'm still going to be able to get Force Shield. Okay. 
care about any of this. Yeah, these have been really shitty stores this run. Apart from the one store that gave me the Burst Laser 2 store. They're really bad stores. Alright, so six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Well. Still have a chance at one at one more store in the in these uh non-nebula beacons. I'd like to spend 55 scrap on distraction buoys in Sector 7. So much value. You can think of tons of things to spend your scrap on. More slugs. Uh, charge lasers. Yeah. Okay, he's got boarding. Let's go and hack the shields. Let's not be greedy anymore. I've been... I've had enough greed of not using my uh, drone parts. Actually, didn't do uh, the best job of my volley there. Okay, if that guy dies. Okay, I actually want to let him in there and then shoot the shields because I might crew kill him. Eh, ship died before the crew did. Ah, well. I tried. At least there wasn't a med bay in the store. True, it wasn't max trolliness. So I should be grateful, really. <laughs> I should just be grateful. There were two stores offering me a heavy laser. I think heavy laser would be a side grade or even a downgrade for our ship right now. They must have dealt and jailed my pants. Otherwise, how would they have cheated so hard? It's the only thing I could think of. This this event is pretty BS too. This is the one where they get a free hack on your on your heal bay, and they get free borders, and they usually have like eleven weapon power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only eight here. Not even that powerful. Only eight weapon power. Only reason you would buy a heavy laser in this business is because of your love of goblin jugglers, love of them. <laughs> love of goblin jugglers, love. Goblin jugglers, love. All right, there's a store. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, well, actually, we. There's no reason not to dive here because Exit Beacon is a safe dive. Uh, Nebula Beacon is a no ASB dive. So, and Exit Beacon itself is always empty in a nebula. So one, two, three, four. Okay, four shields. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine shots. So if I if I hack this piloting, I have five shots that get through. This guy looks like he has one, two, three, four, five weapon power at most. Okay, I think. Well, he's got another weapon hidden behind here and a bunch of value points. I think I actually hacked that piloting here. Nice. Got exactly five weapon power. That's two, three, and a two damage. Wow. Yeah, but the drones by themselves get through because double combat drone is busted. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I should have been more afraid of the drones, apparently, than the actual weapons because Jesus. That's six drone power right there. Freaking Vulcan drone plus baby Vulcan drone. I could get... Oh, I have a fire. Okay, it's there. Uh, let me just vent it. At least he didn't have double Vulcan drone. Have I ever seen double Vulcan drone? That would be eight power and drone control. I don't know if I've ever seen double combat too. I actually don't know if I've ever seen that. 
Off the top of my head, I can't remember seeing it. At least not in some sort of modded FTL thing. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Please cloaking. RNG Jesus, please cloaking. Come on, page two. Come on. Yes! Ooh, oh, they even have another burst laser too. Ooh, okay. I will... I will, I will spend the extra scrap it requires to do that. Although, honestly, whole beam is probably better DPS, but, uh... Ooh, baby, baby. B baby, baby. All right. Um... So I need one power. I would like one more engine. With cloaking, I don't need fourth shield. With cloaking, exultant and shield, I really don't need fourth shield, so... Very nice. There's the store. Finally, the greatest attribute of Burst Laser 1 is on display. That is easy to exchange for Burst Laser 2. There you go. <laughs> this guy... This guy has to get really lucky to get through my shields. I'm going to save a drone part. I'm going to be greedy here. At least for the first volley. Beautiful. Now that I have cloaking, I think I'm allowed to be more greedy because I can just cloak a volley. Wow, that was a lot of dodges with your pilot mind controlled. Okay. Uh, maybe that's good because I can crew kill you? Nah, we just, we just kill your shit. What am I talking about? I have two burst laser twos. Why would I crew kill anybody? Alright, dive. Five engines. Okay, we are boss ready. And we have a whole sector eight of extra stuff to gain. Am I boss ready? Yes. And you wonder why I keep calling you a troll with a question like that, spelled like that. That is double flak too. Wow, what a weapon system. Yeah, we just go ahead and cloak. Mm, I don't need to cloak the first one. That's seven shots. We have five she uh, six shields. And it's freaking slow. So now we can just do this and we're, yeah, the fight's over. Love how Ran answered that after in and posted, but before reading it. <laughs> you know, streaming is weird. With the delay and the fact that I don't look at chat immediately, I answer things in whatever order. I see fit, which is usually the wrong order. I would like one repair station for drone parts, and I will be feeling good. We have a chance at two repairs. Definitely not getting that repair. Leave again, I have another burst laser two. Stop leaving! I mean, keep leaving so I can have four burst laser twos. Just kidding, I don't want you to leave. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Okay. I think I got the Ion Intruder that was on its way down, which is what I was going for. This is a... I think this is an 8-power weapon system. Uh, drone system. Four... Wow, that's a really good deal. Uh, if I find a store... I mean, I don't think I get more than 68 scrap from killing this guy. Um, so this is a 1-power drone. That's 4-power drone. Ion Intruder is 2 or 3. I had intruders three, right? So I think this is an eight power drone system. All right, not even 69 scrap, but I'm taking that deal. I'm not using that weapon, but I'm taking that deal. Because there's no way I get more than 68 scrap from killing that guy. Now we're getting value points even before I get like, you know, fourth shield because I don't need fourth shield with Zoltan shield and clo uh, cloaking. Yeah, so that was an eight power uh, drone system, which is pretty insane. That guy could have had double Vulcan drones, everybody. Sound of multiple lasers hitting so satisfying. Only more satisfying is the have uh, multiple heavy lasers hitting. But I agree. Okay. All right. We got a store to sell this at. Nice. Watch there be long range scanners in this Sector 8 store. Okay. There's not. Um. I could replace my dual laser with a burst laser and then not be able to power it. What a good play that would be. 
Let's go ahead and value point the shields, and I hopefully hopefully get one more power for level 202 before phase two. The so value point for shields. We could value point weapons instead. You know what? I have Zoltan Shield and Cloakium. Let's value point my weapons. I think it's very likely that we take little to no damage on these boss fights. Be good crew kills on the flagship. If I can get them to get in their shield room and not kill their ship too fast, then yes. I will agree with that. I am last two. We need it. No, no. Another trolley comment from Inan. So trolly today. So troll. Okay, so that one shots that guy. Uh, that took away power from something. Okay. Damn. I was too busy looking at power. I didn't... I could have mind-controlled there quicker. Come on, give me some doges. Wow. Wow, fuck you, FTL. Okay. We got those crew kills. Let him go and then finish him. Fucking triple hit. Quadruple fire, single breach. Fuck you, FDL. That's all I have to say about that bullshit. 45% dodge, and I got hit for three damage, four fires, and a breach. Fuck you, FDL. There's no other response than that. But we got good crew kills. But Jesus, that was a stupid missile hit right there. And I was thinking maybe I'd get a zero damage from boss fight with Zoltan Shield and Cloaking. F me, I guess. What was I thinking that I'd get any fucking dodges? What was I thinking? Alright, 26 scrap gets us nothing. Okay. Definitely rigged. The day you got four times worse laser two and three auto-reloaders was the happiest day ever. Mine was when I got four flax and three automated reloaders. Okay, please don't triple hit me again. Okay. Um, okay, hit this, should get two crew kills. Okay, good. And okay, now we finish him. That is not what I meant to do. I did not mean to open my doors. Uh, there we go. Two crew left. Beautiful. Two crew left. And we have the mind control counter. So we should never board with more than one, which we can deal with with our human and NG probably. Um, let's go ahead and I'm sorry, Zilla Device. I hate to do this. But we need a vent. We need a vent. Your training is less important than your full health. Yeah, and in your dodges this run have not been very impressive. So, I can blame you for a, a bunch of damage we took. Hashtag blame in and All right, 47 scrap. I can get... I guess Max Clone Bay is probably the best thing. Okay. So, he won't be able to mind control or board until after he gets the resultant shield. We're going to counter that mind control. We're going to deal with the board with these two guys. We're going to auto-fire until we get the result in shield. We follow him in case we need to run, which we shouldn't need to. Hey, Silly Device is here. Thank you for blessing the run, by the way. You have, you have blessed this run. You have blessed us with your presence. Bless you and bless us. All in the orange Jesus blessing. Good dodges for him. Ooh, okay. It was almost a triple hit. Oh, it's taking us a while to get through here. There it is. Perfect timing there. Beautiful. 
I didn't mess up my hack. Good. Wow, that's some pretty good dodges. But that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's actually go there and you go there. Let's get this offline. Okay. Should be GG. Cloak. Well, bye him! Four in a row, my friend. The Slug A. The Slug A. Pretty good run, honestly. Pretty smooth run. A couple of missiles wrecked us, but that uh, early game crew killing, I feel like, put us in really good shape. That is four in a row. Hey, Fish, thank you for the 35 months of subage. Appreciate that, my friend. Um, I'm so good at multitasking, you don't know how I do this, no pause. Uh, thousands of hours. <laughs> thousands of hours. Let's check that score. 54-43. Pretty nice run. 42 ships defeated, 99 beacons explored, just under 1,800 scrap. I would say that was a mediocre amount, a mediocre score for the run that we had, because if we had got long-range scanners, that could have been an easily a 6k run. No long-range scanners mean, I feel like we had a lot of empty jumps on that run. So, well, I am. Good run. Oh, I have to GG cookie time. What am I doing? Have the cookie. Have a cookie. So, one thing I feel like we did on this run differently was focused on more crew killing sector one and two. I don't know if I only did that because we were fighting weaker ships in that early sector, so I didn't feel the need to kill them quickly. Or if I just need to actually slightly change my playstyle on the ship to to use use more breach bombs and use the anti bio be more often to get the crew kills because I feel like that got was pretty far ahead early. Yeah, it's pretty low ship defeated. I feel like for a number of beacons explored. So all right, my friends, good start to the day. Slug A feeling pretty good, so I'm going to quickly stand up to your restroom. Y'all feel free to do the same when we come back. We'll do another run, see if we can make it five in a row. Y'all rock. Be back in just a bit, my friends. <laughs> 